Hi, everybody. Hope you had a good lunch. Um, good. I'm going to be giving a bit of a talk on Erlang's uh, fault tolerance capabilities and the framework, the OTP framework that comes with it, which allows you to actually leverage those capabilities. For those of you who were in Brian's talk this morning, um, he gave a very good overview of, of what sort of things you want out of a fault tolerant system and why you want them. Um, this is sort of more diving down into the particulars of Erlang and how you get those from a programming, from a code perspective. So before we get too far, this is a designed as a tutorial. You can follow along or not as, as the mood takes you. But if you are following along, I'd, um, what you will need is a working version of Erlang installed, and you'll need the source code that's available at that GitHub address there. Also, if you're going to um, <clears throat> follow along to the, to the end, we're going to, if there's time, we're going to be playing a little bit with Dialyzer. Um, it's worth running that command that's at the top now, because that builds up what's called a PLT, which makes Dialyzer actually run at a sane speed, so we might actually finish before the end of the day. Um, so I'll give you a couple of seconds to look at that one. Who on earth am I? My name's Bernie, or Bernard, whichever one is easier for you to pronounce. Um, I work for a company called Shortel. This slide's actually a shade out of date. We've, we've dropped the sky off, our, um, off, off, off the division I work for now, but I work for the, for the hosted part of Shortel, which is notionally the, the cloud part, and I work on the enterprise-grade hosted voice over IP system. So it's a system where, that we run in a data center, in our own data center, you come along with a bunch of IP phones, plug them into the internet, and we provide you a service that looks exactly like you've got a Cisco UCM or a, um, or, or a Shortel box in your, in your own building, but we virtualize that and, and put it all in the, in the cloud for you. Um, I've been working on that for about nine years now, just over nine years, and for the last six or so of them, we've been doing stuff in Erlang to a greater or lesser extent. Nowadays, everything new we do is in Erlang. We've still got a lot of legacy C++ code there because it's a very big system. But um, that's what I do for a, for a crust day to day. We also actually have an office here in Bangalore. So, you know, go over and say hi to them. They're nice guys. I was there earlier this week. So first things first, we're going to start with a basic Erlang um, application. Now, this is the standard it's the Erlang equivalent of Hello World. It's the first thing everyone learns to write in Erlang, which is a really basic chat server. Um, who, can I just get an idea? Who, who has written any, any amount of Erlang in the past? Who, who has got a bit of an overview? I know you have. <laughs> um, who